we will solve problem 62 chapter 29 of hc verma we have to find the direction of electric field and we have been given the equipotential surfaces these are the equipotential surfaces potential is shown on each and they are making 30 degrees with x axis this is the angle they are making we have to find the magnitude and direction of electric now use this formula dv is equal to minus e dot please remember it's the dot product what is this we have to find out now move along the dr direction along the dr direction what is the change in potential is 10 volt minus let put e on like that only and let the direction of E be sir, any direction take this as E x let this be direction of E x means component along x axis so take E x and dot dr E and E x and dr in same direction so cos 0 and dr is how much this is given as 10 centimeter each so it is 10 into 10 to power minus 2 into cos 0 so 10 is equal to minus e x into 10 into 10 to power minus 2 so e x is equal to minus 10 to power volt per meter so this is the direction of ex value of ex and since we are getting negative it means ex is in this direction what is the value of the e we know that electric field has to run normal to the equipotential lines so if ex direction is this electric field direction is this and what is the value of ex take the component of electric field along this this is 60 degree so ex is equal to e cos 60 is equal to e upon 2 ex so value of e is twice ex so E would be equal to, now we have taken the reverse direction, so negative sign will go. Initially we had taken that, we got the negative sign, we have already reversed the direction, so E would be equal to 2 into 10 to power 2 volt per meter, which is 200 volt per meter. You have to keep in mind that the electric field is always perpendicular to the equipotential lines so if it is v1 it is v2 electric field would, will be like this so that solves the part 1 of the problem for this thank you